हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज वैशाली एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी डिस्कस अबाउट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क दैन नेटवर्क आर्किटेक्चर्स एंड नेटवर्क टोपोलॉजीज विथ एग्जाम्पल आई हैव मैंशन अ कंप्लीट कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क एंड सिक्योरिटी सब्जेक्ट प्ले लिस्ट लिंक इन बिलो डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स नाउ इन टूडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अ नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज ट्रांसमिशन मीडियाज इन कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क लेट स्टार्ट द सेशन now the first point is what exactly transmission media see there are multiple devices are connected with each other one device send information to another device so for sending purpose either they use a particular cable or they use some wireless device like some wifi or hotspot so this pathway of sending information is called as transmission media this transmission media is used as per the requirement of particular network it can be used as per the distance between the two device or how much speed is required for transmitting a particular information so according the distance and speed this transmission media will get selected now this transmission media having two types like guided media and unguided media guided media again divided into the three types like fiber optic cable twisted pair cable and coaxial cable now this unguided media again divided into the two types like radio waves micro waves and infrared now let discuss all these medias in detail now the first type is guided transmission media basically in this guided media they use a particular wired cable for sending and receiving information purpose there is a particular physical link between the sender and the receiver that's why this guided media is used for shorter distance purpose only right for example in local area network there are 20 pieces are connected in per, in one lab right so all these pieces are connected with each other through a particular cable so this is called as guided media it provide the high speed and secured data so there are total three types of guided media let discuss one by one now the first type is twisted pair cable see here in this images there are some copper cables and these cables are twisted with each other right the first type of twisted pair cable is unshielded twisted pair cable see here in this image so this unshielded twisted pair cable used mostly in telecommunication network there are multiple telephones lines are connected with each other through this cable it required very much low cost it is very easy to install and it provide a high speed information this unshielded twisted pair cable categorized as per their speed some cables have send information 4 mbps speed to high 200 mbps speed okay so as per the requirement of speed this unshielded twisted pair cable used in telecommunication network now the next type is shielded twisted pair see here in this image so this shielded twisted pair cable mostly used in ethernet some industrial control system or in some medical equipments like there are some sonography machine like x ray machines right so in this medical equipment twisted pair cable have used see here there are some copper cables or some conductor wires are there and all these wires are wound or twisted with each other basically this shielded twisted pair cable has higher data transmission rate as compared to unshielded twisted pair cable it has easy installation but it is expensive as compared to unshielded twisted pair cable next now the next cable is coaxial cable see here in this image so in this coaxial cable here this is a copper wire okay so through that copper wire they send information from one device to another device this is called as inner conductor now this is called as copper mesh which is outer conductor okay and in middle that there is a insulation they try to protect this copper wire for sending information purpose this coaxial cable having two types first baseband transmission so generally in baseband transmission cable used only in local area network 
there are some shorting pieces have connected with each other means more than uh, not more than 20 pieces are connected with each other so in local area network they use baseband transmission cable for transmitting a single signal at high speed okay they transmit only single signal at high speed and another one is a broadband transmission so broadband the name suggested broadband means multiple signals are simultaneously sent from one device to another device that's why this broadband transmission used in modem or different television systems they provide information at very much high speed so that's why coaxial cable having higher frequency as compared to twisted pair cable it is easy to install but it is expensive as compared to twisted pair cable right so they send single signal at same time or multiple signals simultaneously at same time according the requirement now the next type is fiber optic cable nowadays fiber optic cable used everywhere which is more advanced than coaxial and twisted pair cable because fiber optic cable send information in the form of lights that's why it is used only in log distance purpose where there is a large geographical area or in wide area network fiber optic cable is used the best example of fiber optic cable is internet there are large amount of internet is spread everywhere right so all these cables all these fiber optic cables are connected with each other for sending large amount of information at high speed see there are some air fiber optic cable there are some underwater that is submarine fiber optic cables have there that's why it is very difficult to install and maintenance and it required a high cost see here in this particular image this is a fiber optic cable so the first there is a core so this core are designed to transfer information in the form of lights now there is a cladding so this cladding provide the protection through this core for sending the information purpose right next one is a coating so coating gives the complete protection to this fiber optic cable next one is a strength member so at the time of installation there is a chances of damage a particular cable right so this strength member provides the protection from the damage at the time of installation and this is a outer jacket this outer jacket provide the protection to this fiber optic cable from environmental damage because there are some heat or there are some cold time right so they provide the protection any environmental damage so this fiber optic cable used everywhere nowadays in internet in telephone communication system in computer network right or in some medical equipments right there are some uh, there are some x-rays or some ct scan machine they provide the particular information in the form of lights right so in military area or in aerospace system so everywhere fiber optic cable is used now the next type is unguided transmission media so basically unguided transmission media send information through the air they broadcast information through the air it referred as a wireless media okay there is no any physical medium and no any cable is present between one device to another device that's why this unguided media used for larger distance purpose and it is less secure so there are total three types of unguided medias let's discuss one by one so the first type is radio waves i think you all are familiar with the radio waves you already see this kind of uh, network pillar in a particular area right so they transmit the information at every direction so generally multiple devices like fm radio mobiles televisions all this system wirelessly connected to that particular pillar so radio wave generally used in wide area network where larger geographical areas have there and there is a higher data transmission rate because they have the frequency 3 kilohertz to 1 gigahertz range so it is useful for multicasting purpose means there are only one sender and multiple receivers are there right so in fm radio mobiles television 
so all these devices are connected wirelessly through that particular antenna next the next type is microwaves so basically microwaves sending the information between the antenna see here this is one antenna and this is another one so this antenna send information to the another antenna they work like a receiver right so this distance is directly proportional to the height of the antenna so generally microwaves are used in different mobile communication television networks and one of the best example of microwave is satellite networks see suppose there are cricket live match uh, in australia right so you can see this live match on your tv screen through the satellite network so this is called as microwaves because they communicate the information through any device globally so they send large amount of information with other devices and their transmission rate is between 1 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz so this is called as microwaves and satellite network is one of the best example of this now the next type is infrared so i think you all are familiar with the infrared infrared is one kind of wireless technology and it used for communication between extremely short distance or in one room for example your tv remote okay through remote you can access the tv so this is called as infrared radiations right suppose in between that a particular obstacles so this remote is can't work right so you can access the information through this remote this is called as infrared so basically it provides a high bandwidth and security it holds the lower information rate and the frequency range is 300 gigahertz to 400 terahertz so these are the some applications like tv remotes some wireless mouse keyboards printers are there right or you can transfer the data between two mobiles by using hotspot or by using wifi right so this is called as infrared so this is all about transmission medias and all this transmission medias are used as per the requirement of particular product so thank you keep learning